Are you playing Fortnite on GeForce Now and aiming for the smoothest, most responsive gameplay? You're in the right place. In this video, I'll walk you through the best settings to optimize your experience, boosting FPS and minimizing input delay. Whether you're on a free or paid plan, I'll cover all the essential tweaks you need to get the best performance. From adjusting your resolution to fine-tuning advanced settings, I've got you covered for an ultra-smooth Fortnite experience. because I have the free plan, I'm limited to certain settings, but in this guide, I'll walk you through all the best settings available, including ones exclusive to the Ultimate plan. So if you're on the Ultimate membership, you'll be able to apply everything I mention here. First off, I recommend turning network status off. Keeping it on tends to be distracting and might even introduce perceived stutter or lag due to unnecessary on-screen data. Also, make sure your Fortnite or game account is connected within GeForce Now. This saves you time by skipping the login process every time you launch a session, which is especially useful on lower tier plans where queue time matters. For the server location, always leave it on automatic. GeForce Now does a great job selecting the optimal data center based on your location and network conditions. Manually picking a server can lead to higher latency and increased input delay. Now let's talk about streaming quality. This part depends entirely on your internet speed. If your download speed is between 25 to factor 50 Mbps, I recommend sticking with 720p resolution and setting the streaming bitrate around 15 Mbps. This ensures consistent gameplay without buffering or lag spikes. If you have 50 to 100 Mbps, 1080p becomes more viable. You can increase the bitrate and FPS, go for a 120 FPS if your plan supports it. Because I'm on the free plan, I can't use these settings, but if you're on ultimate or a better paid plan, definitely take advantage of them. If not, 60 FPS will still give you a solid experience. If you have over 100 Mbps, you're in the best position to enable 1080p at 240 FPS, but only if you have the ultimate plan and a high refresh rate monitor. The higher bitrate here helps with clarity and sharpness, especially in fast-paced games like Fortnite, Valorant, or Apex Legends. Regarding advanced settings, V-Sync, this one's personal. I usually keep it off, but if your monitor supports 120 hertz or 134 hertz, enabling V-Sync might actually help stabilize your frame pacing. Try both, see what feels better for your setup. NVIDIA Reflex, always keep this enabled. It's designed to reduce input latency and is especially helpful for competitive games. HDR, keep this off. It doesn't improve performance and may introduce fluctuating brightness and inconsistent resolution during gameplay. Resolution upscaling, leave this at standard. Enhanced does little in terms of actual visual improvement and can introduce unnecessary processing. Also, save your in-game graphics settings within each title so you don't need to reconfigure them every session. This saves time and avoids inconsistencies. Finally, when setting your frame rate target, always push it as high as possible based on your membership and monitor capability. 240 FPS is only available on 1080p with the ultimate plan, so I personally can't use it. But if you're on ultimate, set it as high as your setup allows. I prefer to cap it at 230 or even 240 FPS for consistency. If that feels unstable on your end, you can try locking it at the 30 Mbps bitrate for more smoothness. These are the most effective GeForce Now settings if you're chasing zero lag and up to 240 FPS performance. Even though I'm using the free plan, I've covered the full range of settings so that if you have the ultimate membership, you can get the absolute best experience possible. All right guys, now that we've covered the best GeForce Now settings for smoother gameplay and minimal input delay, let's take things a step further. To push your performance even more, especially if you're aiming for zero input delay in Fortnite, head over to my official website and grab the Fortnite Input Delay Fix Pack. The download link is right there in the description. Inside the pack, you'll find two powerful tools, ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, and Filter Keys, both essential for squeezing out every bit of responsiveness from your setup. Let's start with ISLC. Once you launch it, you'll need to adjust a few settings for the best memory optimization. In the first box, enter 1024. That sets the minimum memory threshold. In the second box, type in half of your total system RAM. 
So if you've got 16 GB of RAM, you'll enter 8192 MAB. This makes sure your system frees up memory efficiently during gameplay. Next, go to the Wanted Time Resolution section. Clear any value there and set it to 0 0.54. Then, tick the box for Enable Custom Time Resolution. This setting is key for lowering input latency. After that, scroll down and adjust the polling rate. For high to mid-end systems, go with 500 mmRs. If you're on a lower-end setup, 1000 mmRs is more stable. Now, check all the boxes you see in the ISLC window. Click on Purge Standby List, and then hit Start. Don't close the program, just minimize it and let it run in the background. This tool will now actively clear unnecessary memory and reduce latency while you're gaming. Now to make your keyboard even more responsive, open up the Filter Key Setter tool. Right-click it and run as administrator. Once it opens, check the boxes for Available, Confirm Activation, and Show Status. These make sure the feature stays active in the background. Then tweak the settings for optimal keystroke response. Set Ignore Under to 0 ms, Repeat Delay to 200 mbps, Repeat Rate to 25 schnatters. These changes make your keyboard insanely responsive, up to 40 key presses per second, which is perfect for building and editing fast in Fortnite. Lastly, enable Save to Registry so these settings stay locked in and hit OK. With both of these tools properly set up, you'll notice a big improvement in system responsiveness and input timing, especially when combined with the GeForce Now settings we covered earlier. Whether you're on a free plan or aiming to upgrade later, these tweaks will help you play Fortnite with the smoothest experience possible. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Now, let's dive into another crucial keyboard optimization that can drastically reduce input delay and make sure your key presses are as fast as possible. A real game changer for Fortnite especially when you're building, editing, and reacting quickly. First, press the Windows key and type Keyboard in the search bar. Select the option that says Keyboard Properties, or Change Keyboard Repeat Delay and Rate to open it up. You'll see two sliders here, Repeat Delay and Repeat Rate. These settings control how quickly your keyboard responds when holding down keys. Repeat Delay determines how long you have to hold a key before it starts repeating the input. Repeat rate controls how fast the repeated input appears after the delay. For the fastest response in Fortnite, set the repeat delay to short and the repeat rate to fast. This will ensure your keyboard reacts almost instantly, whether you're turbo building, spamming edits, or making rapid movement inputs. After that, click apply and then OK, and you're all set. This tweak might seem small, but trust me, it can make a huge difference in reducing keyboard input delay, helping you get that extra edge in Fortnite, especially in those high pressure moments. And that wraps up today's video, guys. If you found these optimizations helpful, smash that like button, subscribe for more gaming performance tips, and as always, peace out.